guys, this is Pa here and thank you for checking out this video. So today I'm talking a little bit more about the Glide mini game on Minecraft console and with regards to the new maps that we're going to be getting soon. So this information is coming from basically you know 4J Studios, the guys from 4J Studios themselves on the Twitch live stream which has been... Um, you wish they did today the day of you seeing this video and uh, yeah so they basically give us a showcase of the actual uh, new maps that we're going to be getting so there's going to be three new maps coming first of all and that's going to be part of a map pack uh, a track pack sorry I keep calling them maps but the tracks on glide so it's gonna be a track pack and it's gonna be called the beast track pack and it's based of course on like mythical beasts and things like that now if you've kind of seen my previous videos and the kind of original trailer then we'll kind of know which which beast they are, which they did show on the um on the, sh on, on the actual stream, they showed the tracks a bit, and uh, yeah, so of course the beasts are, you know, the Yeti, the um, the Kraken, and the sort of Chinese dragon, basically, so, you know, they're the ones that's going to be in there, those, those three sort of tracks then, basically, so they went through them, and these new maps look absolutely awesome. Um, they look so detailed, they look even longer, uh, some of them are a bit longer than like the cabin track we've got already, but a lot more detail's gone into them, lot, some of them a lot more wider, and they just look absolutely amazing. Now, I was kind of uh, wondering with regards to this actual track pack, is it going to be free or is it going to be paid for, and they did confirm that it is going to be paid for. Um, they didn't confirm the exact price, but basically what they said is the... Um, you know, the, the actual price of the track pack will be the same price like your local currency as like the, the battle map packs have been when you've got like three maps in there. So uh, if I remember correctly, for me, if for, it's, it's normally like two or three pounds or something like that. Um, I can't be sure, but obviously, you know, you'll, you'll sort of know if you've purchased anything previously in your local currency. So that's the kind of thing. So the, the first bunch of maps, uh, tracks that we're gonna get are gonna be paid for ones, but they have told us that we're gonna be getting, you know, free, we are gonna be getting free tracks, you know, over time. They are gonna be releasing those to us. So they're probably gonna be, I reckon the free ones will probably be single ones, like at a time. For example, on in the trailer we saw um, what looks to be the kind of temple um, inspired uh, track so I reckon that could possibly be a, uh, a free one in in the near future um, so obviously you guys are probably wondering when this is gonna be when these are gonna be released now I was hoping that there was gonna because they were showcasing it um, you know normally they'll showcase it this is what they did with the actual mini game itself when it was released they showcased it the day before and they released the uh, the actual mini game the following day now unfortunately it's not been confirmed um, I mean we can always hope for maybe a surprise for tomorrow of course you know if you're watching this on the day of me uploading it maybe we'll get a surprise for tomorrow but uh, obviously that's nothing nothing's com confirmed all they said was it's coming very soon that's all they told us you know it's coming soon they it was kind of strange i don't know if they because they kept kind of saying like um uh, you know, they did say in the chat, um, in the actual chat, the moderator was kind of putting uh, no release date yet or anything like that. So, I mean, it could be that they're just keeping it secret so they can surprise us. I don't know, but, or it may be that they're just not ready to be released yet. But, I mean, the maps themselves, the actual tracks, sorry, I keep saying maps, the tracks themselves are look complete, basically. They were flying through them, they got the boosters, the thermals, and it looks, they look absolutely amazing. I just can't wait to play them because uh, I've played the cabin tracks so much so uh, <laughs> I just want to you know I just want to play the new tracks now so a couple of extra bits of information is with regards to the uh, with, with regards to the next update which will be at the same time as the actual uh, tracks being added uh, will be um, a bug fix basically for the leaderboards and well it's gonna be a bug fix for the cavern track so as we know there has been sort of glitched areas and it turns out basically the, uh, the the glitched areas that's been found the one where you can kind of glide outside of the map and come back in and also the one where it's like the one wide gap that you can go down they are actual confirmed as glitches and bugs and they're not legitimate in the actual cavern track uh, and they basically have explained that they will be resetting the leaderboards now I was under the impression they may be able to get around it by uh, cutting out some kind of you know some really dodgy times where people are getting like you know 20 seconds 30 seconds that kind of thing but from the sounds of it it does sound like they're actually going to be 
clearing the leaderboards completely for the cavern track. That's what um, it, what they kind of insinuated when they were talking about it, because they did say, uh, this does mean that you are, are going to have to go and set your times again. So, unfortunately, guys, if you've been, you know, you're going to have to get your practice in again for the cavern tracks <laughs> and, uh, you know, get those uh, get those scores again. So, and, and that's... I mean, maybe they'll work out something where they can possibly keep it because I did see something from Echo Soldier actually on on, um, on Twitter earlier on today where he was talking about this kind of thing and they were saying about this and he, and he was saying basically uh, there may be a way for them to be able to tell uh, who... because obviously when you go through the uh, the cavern track you've got the checkpoints so there may be a way of the, um, of the developers being able to tell uh, players that have completed the course and passed through each checkpoint and that way if they've uh, if they of course can you know pull off a list of players that uh, got these certain times um, that ha you know that haven't basically passed all of the checkpoints including me because I, you know I've done the done the like the the glitch shortcuts just to show it to you guys and uh, see what times we can get uh, but I'm um, obviously I'm completely happy for my uh, you know 36 second times and things like that to be um, you know to be removed uh, you know at the end of the day it's not legitimate so I'm happy for them to do that and um, yeah so they're going to be doing that soon with the update but yeah with uh, from what Echo Soldier is saying possibly they may be able to get around it by you know clearing the times of people who didn't pass through the checkpoints so that is basically it guys so unfortunately we're still waiting on the confirmation of the release of the date and things like that and hopefully that's going to be coming soon. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And uh, again, thank you for watching this video. And until the next one, I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And I will see you all later.